90 Day Fiancé is testament to love can be found despite geographic, religion and language barriers. Born and raised in the United States, Mike also found love with Natalie from Ukraine, Kyiv. The couple together is the subject of the TLC reality show 90 Day Fiancé. Mike has been in a relationship for years with his fiancée Natalie, who is religious and visits church every week. The couple is yet to go one step further and tie the knot. Mike visited her in Ukraine, although Natalie tried to get closer to him in the United States, she could not afford as her K-1 visa got rejected. Now, some shocking details about their relationship have emerged, suggesting Mike and Natalie might as well be heading to separation. Are Mike and Natalie actually separated? In Season 7 of 90 Day Fiancé, the couple threw a huge fit. First, when asked if Natalie loved Mike, she had mixed answers saying she does not love him anymore but conceded having feelings that can grow. I have feelings that will grow to love. If we work on it, it will grow to love. I'm a woman. I'm okay not to be sure. I think I'm okay because women are not sure usually. It's okay and it would be a lie from my side to say I love him. More, Natalie threw her engagement ring in Mike's suitcase who was in Ukraine to sort out her visa problem. After Mike returned to the United States, viewers were presented with another twist. Whatever happened, Natalie hinted Mike cheated on her with a married woman. In answer, Mike denied and the incident happened a year ago and he was there only as the best man for her wedding. As the season ended sour, viewers were the ones left with confusion about their relationship. After the season 7 ended, Mike was spotted picking Natalie up from the airport alongside the TLC crew. He also appeared to have flowers in hand. For now, Mike and Natalie are still together and working out their relationship. Thank you for watching. Give a thumbs up to this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Also, hit that bell icon to never miss an update.